it's mine. On Smite Episode 12 On Smite Episode 12 Recorded on June That's wrong <laughs> No, <laughs> on July 27th, 2013, this guy talking is Brent Copeland. I'm Wes Wilson. And I'm Eric Fullerton. No, I'm the greatest. He is. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to the show. It's been a couple weeks. We've been, been a couple gone. weeks. But here we are once again for some smite action. We got a new god this week. Uh, and all is great. In Valhalla. Chango? Chango? Is that how you pronounce it? Chango? Chango? I, don't, I have no clue. Is it ow? I think they're seeing the video. Chain, changey. Change, change. change Chanji, Ui. Changi. 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 I can't, I don't, I don't speak this language. So. Chang, Chang. Or you could even listen to the video. That's true. Sure. See live. I really think you've gone too far. Okay. Yes. So, far. we got a new god. Chango! Yep. And we have and we have some people on the line. Do we want to introduce the people on the line? Who we got? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Who, who is there? We got Silver right. Metal. Silver Metal. Nivacaris. Hi. How you doing? Nivacaris. Woohoo! Alice is lurking. <laughs> Alice is lurking. It's lurking. A trap. <laughs> lurking is the best kind of king. <laughs> yes. The lurking. Anybody else? Uh, I'm on Def. Def. Hi on Def. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. Oh, wait, you guys heard uh, the show? It's it change. How's it going? Change oh, E. Hi. Changey. Changey. Is that right? Changi. Changi. I don't know. Hmm. Changi. Okay. <laughs> I think but it's more that's like Chang E. Changi. I still don't really know how to pronounce Shibalanke either. Oh yeah, Shibalanke. So, right, here it comes right now. Okay, so the new god. All right. Welcome to the Smite God reveal for Changa. 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 Jimmy Changa. Like she just said it, and you can't even. Never mind. Jimmy Changa. Changa. Okay. Is that exactly what she said? Changa. Yeah. That's what I heard. Yeah. Reveal for Changa. 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 Yeah, we got this. Changa. We got this. Easy. Changa. Jimmy Changa. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get a Mexican god in here eventually. Yeah. <laughs> so now Brent's going to call her that forever. <laughs> Changa. Jimmy Changa. Jimmy. And she kind of plays like that, but we'll get get into that later. The, the Southern edition, the Bubba Changa. Bubba Changa. That's weird. <laughs> yeah. It's weird. I don't know where you got that. It's weird down south. Huh? Bubba Changa? Yeah. It's weird yes. down south with Jimmy Changa. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so uh, we've had a couple of weeks. I don't know. Did we we talked about Kronos last time, probably. Yep. So we, we kind of skipped Kronos. a week because we were out of town at the Play on Con. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, and Eric's actually been playing. Look at that. Focusing on Fenrir. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I love assassins. So I felt like I need to get out of Neath land because that's my go-to character. So I've been playing uh, a lot of Fenrir. And just to play around with his build, I've been building him with a lot of health and uh, and HP 5, but in lifesteal, just to see like yeah. what would happen. And uh, it's pretty cool because, like, a lot of people will go after Fenrir thinking, oh, he's squishy. A lot of output, but, you know, he's pretty squishy. So they would come after me, and I would outlive them because, like, surprise, I'm all tanky, you know? Yeah. Uh, Yeah. So, but his abilities and, and, you know, and just uh, the amount of power that you can get from uh, items that are tanky or lifesteal um, is feels like it's sufficient enough for the right amount of output from him mm-hmm. uh so i mean obviously i could build him with more uh power and more crit and be like awesome but i don't know it's kind of cool i always want attack assassin. speed with him yeah that's the way I, that's i mean that's what i do with Neath. so i was like i was trying to like build something like new that i hadn't tried yet yeah you know, something that would catch somebody off guard uh and in fact um the thing that really uh got me 
uh, interested to do that was like um, it was a game of domination I played with Kali and I could not kill her I was like what is happening so I hit tab and I'm like what is she wearing it was all tank gear I mean she I mean you couldn't kill her yeah. and of course Kali she's squishy as crap you know so I was like hmm what if I do this <laughs> well, what if I go a step further and do live steal and health stuff so like so I would always keep myself healed, and I'm tanky, but I'm also, like, scratching, you know, yeah. killing. So that was kind of fun. I nice. Nice. Um, I dig it. Yeah. We, we digging it. Yes. We done dug it. <laughs> we, we done dug it. But there's one thing that you kind of told us that you probably don't want everybody to know, but I'm going to say it anyway, just because I'm curious. You've been smurfing it up. A little. Smart that that, we're, we're, oh, we're under oh. tight deadlines here to get to 30 before yeah. the release, probably in like two weeks. Is that is that allowed, though? Like, I mean, you know, a Smurf account uh, is basically when you create a new character in Smite, which you have to create a new account. Yeah. Uh, and so by doing that, as a skilled car- uh, as a skilled player, you're going back and you're playing with noobs, basically. Yeah. And other Smurfs. Yeah, and other Smurfs, <laughs> right? So you can go back, you know, it's like going back in time and just owning up the place, like, ah, a bunch of noobs, ah, I'm just going in there and killing. Uh, in turn, kind of killing the spirit of the game and the community. You're kinda, you know what I mean? <laughs> but also, what I was using it for was kind of playing new characters that I, I'm not skilled in. That I've not ever played any. So, like, I'm back in Noobland playing characters that I don't feel comfortable with at level 26 right now at all. I would just get owned. The, the, I mean, I'm a noob, right? Right. So, uh, but yeah, sure, I threw some Neath in there and I got some Quadra kills, <laughs> you know? Oh. At, at one point, I actually got a Deicide. I was like, oh, that's a, that's a badge, right? You kill the entire yeah. team, you know? On your Smurf that you're going to throw yes. away. I, and I, so. and I, I kill the Smurf off at level 10 and I start a new one. And that's shameful. You probably would have been 30 by now. It's like, very all these shameful. Games. Yeah, what are you doing with do. all these Smurfs? Well, it's, it's, it's a way that I can actually feel like I'm playing on the same level as these other characters that I never play. Right. And what I do is I, I'm playing, you know, all the free uh, gods I mean, until and you go play Neve. <laughs> well, that's when I'm like, I'm fed up. I just want to own somebody, right? I play so Neith you're saying you're like, losing. Whoa, this guy's the- good. Like, you, you get in an arena, and like, first thing, one guy's going to run all the way to the end and start fighting. And I'm like, oh, yeah, he's, he's a noob, right? Level one. You go all the way to the other side before the minions have spawned. You get yourself killed. And I'm like, yeah, we've been there before, right? So you yeah. see a lot of that. But I'm not going to complain. I'm definitely not going to be vocal about it. Like, hey, get back here. What are you doing? You know, because you're level yeah. one. I mean, what, you know. They don't know better yet. Yeah, they but don't know. you do. They'll learn. And, and I do, exactly. And you do. So you can teach them. In a nice way, constructive That's criticism. True, but I don't. Tell I them to listen like, to the podcast. That'll help them. Yeah. <laughs> but instead, <laughs> like, I mean, most of the time, like 90% of the time, I will play a character that I want to learn how to play. Yeah. You See, know? That's yeah. why I play Assault, because, like, I mean, yeah, it takes a long time, but then I get to play a character. It's like, oh, it's not my fault if I suck because the game just gave this to me randomly, right? Yeah. So yeah. I could just play whoever went. And, like, I really wanted to play Isis for a really long time. But I didn't want to like do it in arena because I was like, I'm gonna suck if I do it in arena. So I just kept playing assault, and eventually I got Isis, and then she was a lot of fun. So yeah, that's why I play assault a lot, yeah. so I can get gods that I've never played, and then I don't feel bad when I suck at them. Right. right. And I, and I don't know if Hi-Res will do this, but uh, League of Legends has a thing uh, that players refer to as Smurf Island, and basically it's people who play Smurf accounts, but th- because they're so good compared to the other players they can kind of start detecting this and what they do is they start putting these players matched up so it's almost like a subset of match system so now it's starting to put the smurfs against the smurfs ah so uh, well that's stupid might as well just go back to your regular level well but they're they're cleaning it out for the uh well but see there's a lot of people who play smurfs specifically so they can go own to troll not to troll, just to kind of trolling. Oh. I mean, owning noobs is trolling. Uh, yeah, think, yeah, you know? that's, yeah, that's that's fair. But uh, so they basically try to do away with that by putting them in their own uh, so ranks. They catch right? them. 
Well, I mean, because think about it. They're seeing your IPs, and they're getting all this information from you. Like, they're going to be able to detect some of this stuff, right? Yeah. Especially, like, do you, like, log right into your Smurf right after you log out of like, the other character? If you, if you get you a know? quadra kill at level one, you're probably a Smurf, right? <laughs> yeah. I see a whole new video series. Yeah, that's like a stand-up comedy act yeah. right there. Not funny, but stand-up. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's that country? If guy you turn off your auto buy in your first game, you're probably, <laughs> probably a smurf. A smurf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, think about that. Like, they could be detecting that stuff, right? Yeah. Like, looking at it, like, oh wow, yeah. they just went straight. They're gonna to hate auto, me now. You know, yeah. Oh, probably. Gabe's gonna send me an email and be like, dude, can't give you any more uh, codes. Which I've got about twenty here <laughs> to give out from Hoon Bats and. I don't want to try to. De- I'm, I'm, I, I don't want to destroy the community at all. So maybe I, I should understand. stop doing that. If you destroy the community, you're probably a smurf. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> <If you're>, it, <laughs> if you're killing people playing for the first time, you're probably Eric Fullerton. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if, oh if wait, you destroy I'm the smart, community, I mean. Eric, then you're not going to have a podcast to do anymore. Oh, geez. it's true. Oh, it's, it's, it's huge. You're right killing now. us all, Eric. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Because this show is giant. Yeah, it's, it's huge. giant. Huge. Big in Japan. I think we've got most of our audience on the show right now. <laughs> yeah. So it's Oops. Doing good. But hey, if we Oops. keep getting free gems and free Oops. codes, I'm all for it. Yeah. 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 Um, awesome. You know, I actually. If you play your to... first game and you have a skin, you're probably a skin. <laughs> oh, God. Yes. <laughs> but you'd have to still pay money for the skin. It doesn't matter. Not if you're uh, a host of a show that gets a bunch of free skins. Oh, yeah. Oh, that would be a horrible waste of a code right there. Uh, Dude, a Smurf account? I've created 10 accounts and used those codes on every one of them. You can't just admit that. Come on. We're never getting codes again. Thanks a lot, Eric. No, no. We actually, all the codes they give us, we haven't used a single one of them on ourselves, I don't think. Yeah, no. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, So we always give them away. We yeah, we actually have three uh, packs, like full unlock god packs. I think uh, Jen won one of them. Is that? Did you win one of them, Jen? Uh, I did, I believe. So uh, I won she's getting free. one. Yeah. So we no. have two left. Free. Yeah. But we got to think of some good competitions. Like I don't know. Oh, oh we'll give them out during the dead workers party party. That's a good in idea. October. That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. So anyway. Yeah. So. Uh, I, I uh, we've been out of town, but I, I got home and I had to get a few matches in. They had the um, one of the ones where you get a, a bunch of money, and it, or you started with twelve thousand gold and at level twenty grab bag level Order. twenty. Oh, grab random oh, god at, at level twenty is cup runneth over. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, they did like two in a row, I guess, or something. Yeah, they but anyway. did. They did like a, a grab bag and then cup runneth over. Uh, uh-huh. The grab bag. Uh, I don't know. I didn't have. I don't think my games were that good this week. Really? Just yeah. solo? Yeah. You went in solo? Now, RP and I had played a few games. When was that, RP? That was before playing on Conlos. It wasn't right? a Smurf account? Enough. Yeah, about a week ago. And we owned. Like, we were wrecking face all night long. It's good stuff. We won three in a row one night. Three in a row. Nice. Uh-huh. Can I interrupt you, Brent? Yeah. So I have, a, I have a little story about the grab bag that was this past week. Um, so go to go back a little bit, I played a grab bag a while back, and I got Neath. And... I did uh, Eric's idea. I just got like all attack speed stuff, which is sweet. Now it's just like ping, ping, ping. But the cool part about that match is we rolled. Like the match was over in 12 minutes. It was ridiculous. Like, wow. It was just, oh, map, match is over. So I was like, oh, this is probably going to happen again one way or the other. I'm either going to lose really fast or I'm going to win really fast in this new grab bag. And I got Bastet. So I never played Bastet before. So I was like, all right, whatever. So I got a bunch of stuff. And I think I did like all crit chance or something. Um, and the match took forever. It was like a normal conquest, and we were all, you know, hitting so hard. And it was fun. I mean, we won eventually, but it took a really long time. So it was it's kind of weird the contrast between the twelve minute match and then this like thirty five minute match. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that was great when Brent says that. <laughs> you're cool. No, really, you're cool, man. You're cool. You proved it on the air. And then he played a game today and got like 40 kills or something. Yeah. Oh Did man, yeah, yeah. You were owning as a uh, freaking Chronos. Chronos. Just because we handed him all those. Yeah, that's true. We, set we them felt all bad up. for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just took a lot of AOE stuff and yeah, then let him mop up those the kills pieces. from uh, Chongi Brent. I Chongi. know. I was setting him up and all of a sudden be like, what? Isn't Come it, on now. Isn't it Chungu or Chang- Changa? Changa. Changa. Jimmy okay. Changa. 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 Jimmy Changa. Yeah. <laughs> Bubba Changa. 
Okay. Yeah, never getting another code ever uh, again. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, Kwong. Ow. Oh, wow. cool. okay. well, let's give away a code. How yeah, let's that? give away a code right now. Oh, yeah, God, that means I got to click yes. buttons and stuff. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm not even in the dashboard. Ooh, that's too bad, <laughs> isn't it? Isn't it though? Yes. So, uh, anybody else on the on the line want to talk about their <sighs> week? About what 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 God's been owning? Anybody? Uh, I feel like I'd own with Kronos if I ever got a chance to play him. <laughs> well, that's not good Her, enough. I have a lot of Freya hate. <laughs> yeah, Freya. Oh, I hate Freya. Freya's uh. Freya hater. Yeah. I uh, don't know what you're talking about. I love Freya. <laughs> Freya is the devil. That's true. Silver I've actually was got owning. a pretty good Freya build that I like. Used it in Brent's games. Is them Arnidius in the chat room? Them Arnidius. Them Arnidius. Them Arnidius. Them Arnidius. Please stand up. Whatever. You just want a Changa <laughs> code. Changa. Them Arnidius. <laughs> Changu. Nice. I'm writing you a message Rats. right now. Nice. Woo. And it just has the code in it. So you figure out what that code is. Congrats. I hope you play Smite. <laughs> hope you, I hope you know what Smite is. So, I learned this week by watching the uh, high res crew playing Smite. Um, my, you know, it's always a cool thing, like when you're in a, a queue, you know, to hit the TV tab and watch somebody play for a few minutes, you know, while you're in your queue. So, I saw this guy totally owning. I don't remember what his name is, but he's from high res and he was awesome. He high was, res Bart. Uh, no, it wasn't Bart, because that's like the one that I know. Was it Hyros Denton? No, it wasn't him. Because, well, I know him too. He's like the ogre. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, it, it was somebody totally different. But anyway, is it so Kelly. No, it wasn't a girl. Or is that a guy's name? It's a girl. No. Okay. No, it wasn't. It was a dude. He had a beard. Uh. Sounds like Bart. Was it Hyros West Wilson? No. Anyway, it doesn't matter what the guy's name was. <laughs> anyway, so was like it Hyros. Beardly McBeardington. That's the name. That's what oh, I thought. Wow. <laughs> you guys can guess, Wes. That guy. <laughs> yes. Rules with a bearded character. <laughs> uh, so anyway, he was playing, and he was talking to somebody on Skype, and they were talking about... Do I hear somebody talking? No. It's weird. Anyway, so he was talking to another guy on Skype, and they were talking about healing at the time, and he's, he mentioned that the highest healing output character of all the gods is Aphrodite. And I didn't know that. That was kind of a cool thing to you know. You didn't know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. But uh, they were also saying that the, um, the best healing character, like sustain or uh, the, the best to use, would be... Um, uh, no, it wasn't Guan Yu. Guan Yu's like the, the least um, amount of healing output. Was it raw? Uh, yeah, yeah. They said Ra was probably the best all around basic healer. Yeah, that makes and that, sense. That's kind of cool that to know, you know. So, but I'm not a healer, and you know, when when Chengu came out, I was like, ah, eh, Wes is gonna like this girl, Chengu. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, she lives forever. Are we still killing time for you clicking buttons over there? Yeah, we already gave away the <laughs> thing. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> What? Well, let's get on to that Smite was horrible. News. You didn't know that was what was going on there? Wow. No. I'm sitting here looking at like their Smite store at like, things. I'm supposed to be like, hey, you can you know you can get a raw tie. Raw tie? A raw Smite tie. Ooh, a raw tie. A tie? A That's tie. pretty sweet. Raw yeah, tie. I got a Thor That's one too, a deck of cards. Tie. Welcome to the news. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, it just gets better and better yeah. and better. Are we there yet? So this week they've uh, released a new god that is uh, Chimichanga, the fairy of the moon. <laughs> Chimichanga. Uh, she's got a rabbit <laughs> that can uh, go by for her. And uh, then she can like get out of jail like all day long and you can't kill her. And that's pretty much her. She's <laughs> a rather OP in that aspect. She can't really kill anybody except for with her four. Her ult is kind of like Sona in LOL. If you ever played I know, I Sona. I never played Sona. What does Sona do? Uh, she's got that stun that shoots out of her butt like that. 
Butt stun. So, but, but kind of out the front, so it wouldn't be your butt. But but, uh, this but is she a does clean something show. weird though. Like she stuns um, a god for longer. The more away the god is, like like the first god that you stun is going to be a less amount of stun than the next god that you hit, and then the next one. So if you yeah, stun more, four. More. No, I thought it was uh, one second more for yeah, everyone. Longer. You hit. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, stun. or in a roundabout way, the further <laughs> away the god is, the longer he's going to be stunned in a chain, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of a weird mechanic. It is. Like, is that is that good? Is that bad? Is that like? Well, it also does damage. Like, oh, why? so like, if four gods are stunned, the fourth god is stunned for four seconds. Yeah. Or so something. I thought like it was that. that if like three gods were stunned, they were all stunned for like three seconds. No, no, it's not even. It it's one second longer. It for matters each one. about the di- the distance between. Well, it's you. not distance. It's just. If there's four guys stunned, the first one to get stunned is going to be stunned for a second, the second one for two seconds, the third one for three seconds. Is it actually a full second? Four seconds. That's what it says. Because that would yeah, be... Yeah, for one second. Oh. That's ridiculous. Four oh seconds God. is a long time in a battle. Yeah. That's like a mirror's freeze. Once he gets all the way up there, it you for like a day. Oh, huh. <laughs> God. Like 24 hours? That's a yeah, long time. Like the whole time. match. You're just frozen. Yeah. yeah. It's actually better not to kill that person just so that they're out of the game. So, so and also, uh, her, so her one uh, ability is basically a, a um, cone effect that sweeps around in an arc dealing damage. Um, and it also buffs her allies for uh, physical pr- protection uh, buff for three seconds, uh, depending on that stuff. Um, now, I should note that uh, the Crescent Moon Dance, which is what it's called, has a deceptively long range like it looks like it's much closer than it actually is yeah you can pretty much get all the minions that are running in if you arc it right yeah uh the next one the two the moonlit waltz uh this is an evasive spin uh and while she does it she's unable to be hit during that action and then while she's doing it uh she actually gets uh, for all the damage that she avoids during that she gets mana back for that oh mana steal and a uh, and vulnerability so you want to do like i've seen people do this and uh like say uh isis's thing or if there's an aoe in the ground is a great one to use it on so if you're playing against uh what's the dude the egyptian guy with the fire hose uh, uh set huh um set is that his name? Was her? No, uh, no, that's set. the line. I mean, um, uh, he's Anubis, Anubis, Anubis. Anubis. Yes. So, uh, like, when he puts hugs. the hands on the ground, hit your two and then run through it because you'll get mana back because you won't take any damage, but you'll be taking, um, you'll basically get mana back for all that damage you uh, should okay. have taken. Yeah. So that's so the way is to use this that. It just ticks. It's not like actual like damage done. Hmm. No, it's for, well each tick of damage. So, like, if you dodge, like, Ao Kuang's alt, which is, like, a freight train, would that give you, like, a ton of mana? Or is it just uh, one No, tick, so it's, not very much? it looks like it's ticks, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Or that may be, I guess that's probably buying up. So, for each tick, you would get whatever that is, level of. Does that make sense? Yeah, but, like, would Ao Kuang's alt be just one tick of damage? I don't know. I don't know how this thing works. I don't play that stupid <laughs> monkey. <Ow Kwong. laughs> Who plays the monkey? Who knows? I don't do the monkey anymore. I don't do the new monkey. I did the old monkey. I don't like the new monkey. Sun Wukong. I like the new monkey, but I don't play it enough to know. (laughs) Okay, great. Glad you tuned in. So, (laughs) the the three is the moonflower dance, and uh, Chingy Changa uh, twirls, scattering flowers (laughs) around her and healing herself and all nearby allies. That's a good heal. And that include does that include minions? Because I noticed yes. minions were glowing. Yes, yes, yes. I healed Which is minions. pretty nice. Yeah, and it also I mean, uh, like a- reduces the healing of all nearby enemies by fifteen percent for four seconds. Oh, I didn't realize that. So, like, um, Wan Yu heals uh, minions as well around him. I guess like as as Aphrodite though, you don't have an AOE heal, right? You're just chained up. 
Is that right? Yeah, it's not AOE heal. You just heal one person. Yeah, so you can't heal minions with her. No. Okay. No. I think Ra is the only other one, right? Does Ra's yeah. heal, heal minions? Yeah. Ra heals minions. Yeah. Okay. With the AOE. Isis's, yeah. Isis's circle. Her burst. Yeah, yeah her ult. Well, does. and they'll take less damage, too, like while they're in the circle. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So it's always fun to throw up on a tower. Anyway, okay, the last one is Waxing her old. Uh, we've already talked about it. It's the stun. So they also added in a couple new skins. Of course, the Golden Vulcan. We've all been waiting for that one. Yeah. <laughs> I've been dreaming about it at night. Is that wrong? Did they get the gold <laughs> bucket and they just clicked on it? Or? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. It's a couple times. So so which like parts do we want to be blue? They, they did the blue buckets a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't forget about the blue bucket. Um, and, uh, and then some voice packs: Thor, Freya, and Jimmy Chunga. That was oh, really she got a voice pack. I haven't listened to her voice yet. I'm kind of, I'm kind of interested. Uh, here. So her voice, okay, Wes, you know the that weird like, uh, good the the weird voice that you were hearing. The rabbit, Miss Chunga. The rabbit. That's her voice pack. Uh, the rabbit. Her rabbit is pretty cool, though. Did we even say anything about the rabbit that runs home and buys her, stuff for you? It's her passive that, that, yeah, the rabbit will go back and buy one item for you. And that's cool in assault because yeah. you can't do that normally. And Does she it doesn't work really die. Like, Ooh. did they put that Does in there? Does it work in assault? Does it yeah. work in assault? Oh, wow. Yeah, I was using oh, it absolutely. all day. Yeah, ridiculous. Oh, wait, no, we're in joust. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. you like, that's luck of the draw to get her in, in If it doesn't assault. work in assault, that's lame. It does work in assault. Okay. Does? Oh, wow. That seems OP. That is kind of no. I mean, she opinion. doesn't die. Well, she, I know. Yeah. Well, so you I gotta have good. a bunny rabbit, right? Yeah. If you don't die, but you see, need normally rabbits. when I play assault, I don't die anyway. Like I have to go get myself. <laughs> French is that good? Yeah. Well, for us that aren't as good as you. <laughs> well, you gotta do smurf more. <laughs> yeah, you gotta smurf it up. <laughs> you gotta practice. <laughs> you mean the Eric thing? Right? Yeah, yeah, the Eric thing. The Fullerton is what's we'll gonna it. get me banned from <laughs> tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the Fullerton. Oh man. Okay, so they also changed around. Uh, they added some uh, new rank cues, which none of us do because you got to be thirty, and Eric's too busy playing Smurfs. <laughs> Oops. Uh, Oops. Uh, they've also changed the uh, conquest queue. You can no longer queue as five in the casual. Well, you can, but it's a specific uh, queuing for five as a uh, um, pre-made. So now it'll all be pre-mades. You'll always be playing pre-mades in the five-man groups. Oh, that's scary. So you know that. So you can only do three people hmm. uh, okay. in the um, Congress, which I, you know, I guess that's that's okay. Yeah. That should help a little bit, right? You won't play any more pre-mades? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, but we'll have to we'll like, see. yeah, we'll see. or we'll <laughs> always play. Pre-mates. We'll have to experiment. We'll have to see how it turns out. But I'm I'm skeptical that it will make things much better. True, I don't think it'll change much. Okay, something else um, they uh, added was a new VGS type called context pinging. So now you can do a VQA and then left click and it will say attack here so you can do that I assume on the map yeah oh I haven't tried that attack here and then uh, they have the VQD and the VQC to defend here and be careful here be careful here (laughs) see I think that one's kind of lame kinda like I mean I hear a lot of people say be careful be careful be careful yeah the people who say it say it all the time I mean like what does that do for us well, like, it, do, you, it, do you take that into consideration and go, oh, I need to be careful now? I, I Actually, what it is, is is when I'm being like overtly aggressive, aggressive yeah. and someone's saying, be careful, be careful, be careful. What it says to me is, this is a player who wants me to hold back and and be more easy oh, going okay. about this. Okay, yeah. I could see that. Yeah, I think sometimes it reminds me, oh, you're overextended. Look where you are. Yeah. They may not be talking about you either. You're a little defensive there, Eric. Yeah, do I mean, they do this a lot in the Smurf League? <laughs> <laughs> Just pop a Smurf, click the. Yeah. Uh, be careful a lot. <laughs> maybe that's the only VGS command they've learned so far. Yeah, maybe so. Oh, be know. careful. You when know, you use VGS codes in your first game, you might be a Smurf. Oh, oh it's a trap! Sure. You know, one thing that we didn't talk about because we hadn't done a show in uh, what two weeks? Yeah, is uh, the last patch introduced the 3v3 joust in casual yeah which is cool because you know it adds a new thing that you can play and everything and uh i don't ever queue up for that do you guys 
I, I haven't I've, I've yet. I played it twice. I played it once as Odin and once as Arachne. Oh, yeah? How'd you like it? Um, the thing I really liked is it felt more, so it felt more personal with the people. And it kind of was like, okay, so what are we going to do? Do we want to go, like, all assassins? Or do we want to do, like, split it up and have, like, one assassin, one mage, one tank? Or, you know, what are we going to do? Physical, magical. So it was kind of cool that we, it was, you know, a little more personal. And I, the first match had more strategy than the second match. Second match, I just wanted to play Rackney, so I kind of didn't care. But, um, hmm. Now, I wonder yeah. if a 3v3 joust, if, if you would have you know like haters because then it makes it more you know what i mean it's more yeah. personal so it's like yeah. if one guy is yelling his head off like wow you guys suck then it's like that's one third of the team now you know yeah one third of this team is a jerk face yeah and then the other two guys are like hey what should we do should let we him leave? get killed we, you know yeah <laughs> like, like always actually like you're gonna initiate and then back up and let him run in and die and then make fun of him yeah it seems like even if you are a jerk a 3v3 team, like, just hold back for that round and be a jerk later, but not now because it's only three people, you know? I don't know. I'll, Sounds I'll it, good. I'll give, it some, I'll give it a try. I really think it has a lot of potential for some serious strategy, though, like I was saying, you know? You Say have tragedy? You have a healer and uh, strategy. Oh, there's you just a like, tragedy. Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's me! Or <laughs> tank or, you know, just stuff like that. I think it could... I think it'd be really cool. Yeah. Okay, so an- another big change this week is several mages have had their basic attacks changed from physical to deal 35 magical damage. A little evening up there. Nice. And that's Agni, Alquang, Aphrodite, yes. Hebo, Hell, Poseidon, and Ra. Huh. Good. Uh, there are some other god changes. Uh, apparently, how Silver Minnow was playing Athena for the game is they uh, must have buffed her pretty big because he was owning. Do you mean Do you mean Freya? Yeah, he means Freya. Oh yeah. Never you mind. mean Freya? It's <laughs> <laughs> Thursday in the morning, folks. <laughs> That's right. Athena sucks. I forgot. Oh no! Yeah, I'm you just kidding. Don't like Athena? No, no, no. I think Athena's great for a tank. Good defender. Like, yeah. like I hate like. When I meet Athena in the jungle, I run away just because it's not worth my time. Yeah. No matter what class I play, it's like, no, well, lately, it's, it's they, not worth it. They've been putting out a lot of, like, specialty characters lately, like a, like Athena, uh, uh, Kronos, uh, and uh, Chimichanga. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're very, like, she's a carry, or she's a support, and, you know, she's a healer, she's defender, so is Athena. Um, Kronos... What is he? I mean, he can deal some output, but like his ult doesn't do any damage. It's all about himself. Well, that's you know, it's all about his too, man. I mean, it's yeah. all very specialty now. Like to me, it kind of feels like they're they're catching up now and they're balancing everything out. Like they already had tons of assassins and all this like burst, you know, coming out, and then now they're like, oops, they're all oops. Now oops. we need to fill out the rest of the 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 spectrum. And then we're gonna release the game. So I'm, I kind of feel like the next. What do we got? We got two more gods or one more god? I think it's one more, isn't it? Just one more. I feel like this one's gonna be a weirdo too. So okay, well let's. Uh, what do you think it's gonna be? I think it's gonna be either a tank or a healer. Tank. Honestly, we haven't had a tank in a long time. Yeah. Well, Athena was a tank. Oh, that's true. Well, yeah, yeah. but I. And then Hoon Bats was like the. Le- we haven't had an assassin really since Fenrir. I mean, Hoon no, Bats, I'm, yeah, but he's basically I'm, just Sun Wukong. Yeah, basically. I really want Hoon, Hoon Bats was an assassin. I'm I'm going with either. Uh, is Bruiser still a thing? Yeah. Like, okay, so here's the thing. Just the stats from stats wise, it would say the next one is a Bruiser. Okay. And it would either be oh, a, yeah. a bruiser uh, assassin or a bruiser support. Maybe it will be a support assassin. Never seen, I don't think. Okay. How did you do it? Uh, what was it? Kali uh, from... Not Kali. Uh, there's there's one that throws fans in the law that was kind of like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Edikar in the chat room said Fenrir's a bruiser. He is, but he's he also is. listed as he's an assassin. bruiser and assassin. Right. Yeah. And assassin. Bruiser. So here's the stats. Just so you know, there are... Five uh, gods considered bruisers. There are um, nine assassins. Uh, ten, ten tanks. Wow. 
uh, 13 mages, 9 yep. supports, and uh, uh, 10 carries. So, it seems like they're trying to do 10 of each. Yeah. Right? So, what does that leave us? Do we need a, a support or an assassin more? Assassin? No. I think assassin. They're we don't need more assassins. 10 tanks? No, we don't need more assassins. You think that's more of a specialty? Like, keep, like I keep hearing sounds from the game. Yeah, because I'm looking at the game. So, oh, okay. So. <laughs> uh, yes. so, I don't know. Uh... I could dig some kind of like weird assassin support guy. That'd be cool. Maybe another bruiser that would be then. Cool, actually, assassin support hybrid thing. Because you know, in a lot of matches, one of the main problems is that like four players on the team want to play assassins, and then there are a lot of people that want to play assassins. So actually, I do agree with you, Wes. We don't need more assassins. No. I always feel like every time, like everybody picks their thing, like we have five people, nobody's locked in. And then one guy's like, you know, says in the chat, it's like, we need a tank. And then one guy has to switch. They're like, okay, I'll be Odin or I'll be whatever, yeah. Ares. I always feel like nobody really wants to play a tank. Like, is there well, something they can do? people like getting kills, you know? Well, and the other thing is, th uh, yeah, kills. I mean, that that's the primary motivator for making levels. Additionally... <sighs> The, the ability of a tank to kill an enemy is slight. You have to catch them at the right moment, and they already have to be beat up. And, like, the, playing an assassin or a mage or something that can, you know, really take somebody out, I mean, that's just far more tangibly pleasing. Yeah. yeah. So do they need to, say, rethink the scoring system? Like, the number of kills change that? I don't know. Well, there, like, you guys mentioned a few a while back that maybe they should have kills and assists be one thing and yeah. not two separate things. Uh, I like that idea a lot, actually. Yeah. So yeah, I think I came with that idea. Potent. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful I, idea. That's I'm yours. sure it was you, Brent. Awesome! I'm absolutely <laughs> sure that was you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, last night I was watching, I watched Thor again on yeah. Netflix. I hadn't seen it in a while. And I was thinking about Smite the whole time. Because, like, Odin's, really? Odin's the dad. I was, like, thinking about his ult and stuff. And, like, Thor actually did his two. He throws the hammer, right? And it comes <laughs> back. And I was like, um, I don't remember if he did his three or not, the twirl or whatever. But he did his ult. You yeah. know, it goes up, you know. And, like, I was just thinking about it. And then his brother, Loki, he goes invisible and stuff. And I'm like, he has the horns. I was like, whoa, this is really making me want to play Smite right now. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's awesome. Anyway. What if there were... I think another tank would be good, kind of like Ares, because one thing, Ares' alt is great in the right situation where, you know, you pull, like, four of their team in, and then your team just comes down and decimates those four guys. And I imagine that's pretty satisfying for people to play Ares. To be like, yeah, I just caused their entire team to be killed by my team. Yeah, yeah. Maybe more devastating alts or something just or, more like really high support alts i think would be good yeah. yeah yeah i like that actually true plus apparently we're real low on uh physical yeah. tanks which is what hitman keeps saying in the chat yep man so let's move on and uh uh the last thing there was that uh ultra blue i'm getting in chat in game that the next god is going to be tier uh tier. from the norse Mythology. Ooh. Oh, Tyr who got his hand cut off by the by Fenrir. Isn't Ymir? Does Norse he throw it too? at people? No. Just Tyr. I'm like make Fenrir. Tyr. Tyr was the god whose hand was bit off by by Fenrir. Um, oh. Is Ymir Norse as well? Yes. So big beards and big dude, like yeah. a bruiser or a tank, maybe. He'll be he'll be like he'll be like Thor or or Odin. Okay. He is uh, considered a melee bruiser. It's crazy how they already have uh, on the Smite.gamepedia, they already have him listed on here uh, hmm. with like skills. They don't exactly share what they are, but they have like images. But the uh, he's called the Lawgiver. He's Norse melee bruiser. Uh, Two hundred gems. Melee bruiser. So, uh, like a Thor like or Hercules. Hercules. Yeah. yeah, Bruiser is the way to go at this point in time. There's only six Bruisers, okay. right? I kind of think, think some of these some of these half tanks are where where we need to yeah. see some good stuff. Because Thor is a lot of fun to play. Yeah, 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 definitely. 
Okay, so that's good stuff. Ah. Okay. Cool. Let's move on here to... Uh, Thanks, Nightbot. Yeah. And morning. <laughs> it's a sad bumper right there. Well, it's 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 very it's very Asian though. It's very yeah. Chinese. Hugging and morning. I was gonna say Norse. Morning, but hugging and yeah. morning. Hugging and morning. Dun dun. Awesome. I like Welcome. that. We need some dun dun in here. Okay. So, <laughs> do you want to read this first one? Sure. This uh, is, g- go ahead. Oh, by the way, by the way, <laughs> anybody, so anybody listening anyway. to this right here, send us bumpers and we'll play them. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You don't put wanna, your audio. You don't want to hear this crap anymore. D- you don't want to hear that anymore, huh? So send us some cool stuff and we'll we'll play it. I want to hear it more. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay, this first one goes, uh, good day, DWP. I thought about calling in, but really had too much to inquire about, so thought it best to simply use this method instead. How do you guys feel about the different game modes? For that matter, how much impact do you feel each game mode has on character selection? As an example, I absolutely despite despise Conquest while quite enjoying Assault. As a result of these preferences, I almost never play an assassin type. Willingly. If only because I feel like an assassin is almost garbage character in something like Assault due to there being no jungle nor a real way to surprise people and gank them. On the other hand, I have a notable tendency in my stats to favor tanks and mages. Indeed, seem much more successful with them. Keep up the good work, guys. Hopefully, I can catch a stream someday soon. Again, you three and your After Midnight streams. Jeez. Hey, it's After Midnight right now. Eric yeah, Willis, awesome. a.k.a. Ediker uh, Wrath Wrath. Play. All right. So, what do we feel about the game mode? So, I definitely think that the game modes inf- uh, affect my character choices. I agree. So he doesn't like conquest at all. That's so weird. And that is weird because I feel like the whole game oh. is based on that premise. Yeah. The whole and, the, and all the characters are valid in conquest. Yeah. Like, everybody has a use, whereas, for instance, I don't think Aphrodite has much use in uh, Arena. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I, I don't know. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. I, yeah, I think basically the game is probably balanced around Conquest. Yeah. Over any other mode. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I definitely uh, choose my god depending on uh, what mode, you know. I. Definitely. I uh, arena. I like to go, you know, Loki, but I don't go Loki as much on uh, conquest. Yeah, assassins. Yeah, unless you want to jungle, I guess. And then yeah. domination. I love Loki because I think it's the perfect place to go. Oh yeah, uh, spanking people from behind. A lot of little corridors and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And it affects your build too, like what you buy. I mean, you're not gonna buy wards or anything and arena yeah um you know and your build might be different you know you're you're going for for longevity and and conquest well also like what skills you buy you know i know they're definitely different for loki like oh yeah because i'll want my two where he puts the little thing that can kill minions always oh the little decoy thing because i can throw it on a you know platform with the sand giant you know right yeah yeah things like that so yeah i think it has a uh Big effect. What, what, what's everybody's favorite right now? I, I know it changes every week, I think. Their I, game mode? Yeah. I, I really like Conquest the best. Right. But that's because I, there's a lot of characters I feel like I can pick for that that I can't in other modes. It's also a time thing with me, depending on when I'm playing. If I know I'm going to be playing for a few hours, then I'll probably queue up for some Conquest. Yeah. Uh, I always go for Hoarder or Grab Bag, one of the big money ones. First Those are game of the out. day. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I like Arena the best. I think right now. I mean, it changes all the time, but right now it's Arena. Arena, Arena, Arena. I just for some reason Arena just bugs me. Like for the most, I mean, oh, I, I love Arena. No, no, it's terrible. Really? You should feel it, bad. It feels more like <laughs> I agree with Wes. You should on play this some one. Chronos. It's, it's terrible. Uh, of course, yes. There are certain classes that do really well in Arena, and those aren't the classes that I enjoy playing. I, I like playing classes a little more subtlety. You know. Yeah. See, I might be the exact opposite of you because uh, I 
don't play conquest because i feel like the gods that i'm good with in like arena assault and then like grab bag hoarder i would be terrible with in conquest like i've tried you know i tried playing some chronos in conquest and this was a while back i mean i haven't played him for a while in conquest but i didn't do nearly as well as him in conquest as i did in like arena same with al kwong uh Arachne is pretty much the only god that i'm potent with in conquest and i haven't played her in like weeks so yeah Oh, yeah, I think to me, Arena's kind of almost like, I don't know, it just seems like, bleh, like you're just, it's just a team fight, and it's, yeah. that's all it is, and and uh, I don't know, I think there's some nuances with like Conquest and Domination that kind of build to that those moments, Yeah. Uh, and I like that, like, you know, having the laning phase to me is, is a lot of fun. Yeah, because uh, it's almost like having a one v one or a two v two. Yeah, kind of, and you just kind of miss out on that. It's all about um, this concentrated teamwork in arena, where if, and getting thrown in with a group of people and you're not talking to them and stuff. It it, it can just totally have a horrible game just because, like, say the tank's not going in initiating. Right, and if you're uh, something like a Bakasura or a Loki or or something that has to have that initiation in a arena, you're just kind of screwed, unless yeah. you have a tank that can do it. Yeah, yeah. you're yeah. just hanging back waiting. You know, yeah. I also mentioned uh, to Wes a while back that I think I also don't play Conquest because I'm kind of uh, afraid of people that play Conquest. Like mm-hmm. I'm intimidated by like my teammates being mean to me, so I don't play Conquest. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, yeah, I kind of get that too. Actually, I, they can be meaner. Yeah, yeah. they do. They do. Yeah, I and, agree with mm-hmm. that. And then I, I, I realize that I'm gonna be stuck with these people for yep. the next thirty minutes in my life, and there's <laughs> nothing I can do about it. Oh, plug, pull, and play a Smurf. Yeah, let's <laughs> play Smurf. I could, but I like my perfect record. You know, of not like having ever left a game. You know. Yeah. Because uh, with that and about 13,000 favor, you can buy a skin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> true. Okay, so this next one here. Dead Workers. Very loud. Ch- Dear Dead Workers Party. <laughs> Today I was playing in a 3v3 joust match. One of the players was just harassing me constantly. His name was Eric Fullerton. No. It <laughs> <laughs> at, at one moment I had to AFK to do something for my mom. And when I returned a minute later, he started getting after me for leaving them. And for making, get this, him do all the work. Now, normally I do really well with playing Smite, but with him around, <coughs> my best god, Ra, on my best build, wait. But with him around, my best god, on my best build for him, I just could not get my normal kill streak. By the end of the match, which uh, me and the teammate that was not harassing me surrendered, I had one kill and the other person who didn't harass me had none. I looked him up after, and he normally getting 10 kills on average. I reported him. The guy was harassing me and blocked him. Do you guys think I did the right thing? Hmm. That's too bad. I'm 50-50 on harassment. Um, I think you have the right to complain, but at the same time, like, I don't know. I res has the right to not really do anything about it. Yeah, yeah but if it's harassment, yeah. But, you know, I, I play these games, and it's like, I see some guy getting picked on because he has the least amount of kills. And then it's like, I'll see in the lobby when the game's done, it's like, you know, report Sobek. And it's like, why? Yeah, no, you know, like, he yeah. was playing the game. He just didn't get, you know, th- that's wrong. So, harassment, yeah. But yeah. but kill count, no. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, yeah. and the only one thing I can say is... Uh, Try try not to have to go AFK when you're playing a game. Yeah, it's a bad idea. I mean, it's still oh, not yeah. cool for someone to harass you, but uh, but like AFK I, is pretty harsh. I mean, like you know, I so I have I have a friend that comes over. Actually, Wes, you came over uh, yeah. at one point. And when I'm playing Smite, I can't answer the door when it when somebody's yeah. knocking. All I can say is. Hey, I'll be there right in a second. Let me get to spawn real quick. And then I have to go to spawn or die or something before I can run out of my chair real quick, open the door, and then run back to my chair and continue playing. And when I do that, they understand. They're like, oh, yeah, you're in smite right now, obviously. So uh, so just 
do whatever you got to do to not ever go AFK. Like, don't put something in the oven, right? Yeah. When it yeah. dings, you got to get it out, right? Like, don't, <laughs> don't do, have parents. Like, don't do anything like that, right? Don't have kids, right? Because kids will probably like do something. Yeah. Uh, don't yeah. have a wife. Don't have. Uh, <laughs> don't have anything. Just be isolated in yeah. in a, a little cube. But <laughs> that being said, sometimes <laughs> it happens. Uh, and you know, if someone's harassing you, report them uh, and see if that helps. I mean, the, the thing is, and if you're harassing people, even if they are AFK, just remember that it's like this guy said. It just makes someone play worse. It, yeah. It's never ever going to make someone play better. Yeah, never. If, if you have some constructive criticism, like if they're building horribly wrong or something, you know, maybe suggest a different item. Uh, but even wait till after the match and like give them some tips, you know. Yeah, in the lobby. Yeah. But as soon as you say, "Dude, you suck," you just almost guarantee the loss for yourself. Yeah, and somebody's gonna try to report you. And, Might and I also it- remind people that this is a video game? <laughs> so yes, um, absolutely. It's like, I mean, I understand that losing a lot yes. isn't fun, but it's not like you lose a game of Smite. You're not. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. And it's as not you can that see, big of a deal. I am drinking oh Monster Rehab. Is this the wrong time to do that? It is. It's very late at night. It's three in the morning here. This is going to go good with my crystals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we should start winding down. What? We got another email here. Okay. We got a ton. Well, I know, but it's been almost an hour. That's true. Since almost. we started recording. That's true. I don't believe it. It is. It's true. I 54 minutes. Sorry. We should wind, save the question for next week. Let's wind down. Um, we got okay. We got another segment. <laughs> I know that's why I want us to move on to another segment. Show. What's going on here? Okay, okay yeah. so we move on to. Oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> just, just, Jesus God! Oh, there is no justice in the world. <laughs> no. <coughs> make it stop. Make it stop. Make it stop. It's best when you cough into a. Uh, into a you guys have a good night. Yeah. Yeah. I don't blame you. <laughs> I want to uh, feel. So what's the segment about again? Uh, noises. <laughs> it's the out. Oh, we don't have anything in the segment. So let's move on to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh my god oh Quick my god. tips Oh my god It's the end of the episode So we, we have an email here From Manual Leak Z Who says uh, Hey guys I've got a tip for you this week You already know better than Starting an argument with a buffoon who's insulting your family instead of playing the game. However, before muting him, why not troll the troll? As the doofus goes on with his or her rant, type in the voice command for quiet. Simple and effective, guaranteed to make your teammates chuckle and the idiot rage even harder. Okay. Too bad you won't be able to hear him or her anymore. Keep up the good work. That's too bad. I'm good with some quiet. Yeah. I think We're that's doing on the eighth day? No, no, no. We, we, uh, no, that's Shh. next, I think. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> skip that? Yeah. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no, this Sorry. Is a, this is a tip. It is a tip. Quick tip. I like the tip. Quiet. <laughs> so it's about hitting quiet for a little chuckle. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> okay, so oh, great. That's, that's thank best. you guys for joining us. Um, yeah, uh, let's wind this down. This has been a long. Just, God, stop. Just leave some uh, <laughs> iTunes reviews. We'll be giving out codes next week, I'm sure. Yes. But all for maybe we'll give out all eight. All eight thousand. How many ever we have? We're gonna just pile them all out. All for iTunes. iTunes. I can't do that. Crazy person. Tango. Jimmy iTunes Tonka. reviews. Yes, iTunes reviews. Yes. So leave them. Leave us iTunes reviews. We need yeah, them. Yeah, I just went and read a bunch. I like them. Yeah. I do. So oh, I have a tip. Oh. Um, I don't know if people know this because I've seen people not do this. When you have an attack that's like a, a line attack, even after you press the button to fire it, you can like keep moving if the like enemy god that you're aiming at keeps moving and it'll still kind of like 
I mean, it's not like the attack will turn, but it'll then fire in the new direction you're facing. So, for example, if you're playing like Ra with his like his like sunbeam, not his like not his alt, but the one that comes down from the sky, yeah. and you're about to shoot it at a guy, and they like run to your left. If you turn, like even after you've hit the button really quick with them, the sunbeam will then shoot in that direction, and not where you left it. You might be a Smurf. Oh yeah. <laughs> If you do that at level one, you might be a smurf. <laughs> yeah. So just remember that you can like secretly aim the line attacks even after you've fired them. Ah, I didn't realize that. Yeah. So, yeah. You're an Egyptian smurf. That's how I get people with my, my stop time as Kronos, is I just keep following them. That's a good little tip right there. That gets one of these. No! <laughs> uh. I don't want it. I take the tip back. A wise man. No, no more tips. No more tips. <laughs> Did you oh, know God. that? Someone asked you a question. Help me. It's very, very do tribal. You do VBN or VBY? <laughs> Help you me to answer that. Help. Quiet. And Sometimes it's funny. Quiet. End scene. Yeah, that's it. We'll see we you next time. We are now in Valhalla. We'll see you next time with Wesley. No. Bye. Remember to. Smite on and drink your Ovaltine. Is that a thing? Is that a thing yet? <laughs> Smite on. <laughs>